to my channel. I hope you're having a great um, day and a great week and yeah anyway today's video or vlog is just random anyhow but I'm going to be making akara and maybe custard okay guys so yeah but before I start I'm going to be doing some cleaning before I start I already got my beans here um dishes now so yeah let's start our akara so i got this beans is already peeled as you can see it's already a peeled beans so what i do i'm going to put hot water on it So this is the beans, it's already peeled, but it's still got some scale, it's still got the um, skin. I won't say scale because it's not fish. So it's still got some of the skin inside as well. So what I do is I use hot water. I just soak it for a while, maybe for like um, 30 to 40 minutes. I soak it like that. I change the water during that time. I remove this water, put another hot water on it. So that's what I do. It doesn't take long to get soft. It doesn't take very long. It depends on how soft you want because I'm going to blend it. So it doesn't really take that very long to get soft. Just sometimes I leave it like 30 minutes or 40 minutes if I'm doing something. If I'm not doing anything, I normally just leave it for around 35 minutes just to get a bit soft, okay? Yeah, so I soak it. While I leave it to wait, like to get soft, I'll go and peel my onions. I'm using one of the onions. I'm going to blend it together with the beans and the peppers with the beans. Okay, and then one I'm going to slice it. And then I also have this um, seasoning cube here. I got the chicken maggi and the non um, cube. So I'm going to be using this one only first. If if I don't like the taste, maybe I want more taste, then I will use one of this one. There's two in there, so I'll use one. Yeah, so I got my pepper because I don't have scotch bonnet, so I'm using dry pepper. And I got crayfish as well. And of course, I got salt in that little container. And of course, you need your blender. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to change the water again before um, I start and put another hot water. Then I'll start with these ones.
okay guys so my beans is ready my beans is ready as you can see I've washed some of the skin out see even though it's a peel beans oh this beans is the brown uh, honey beans something like that they call it this is not the black eye uh, beans so this is the brown one so you can see it got some skin which I've washed out so it's ready as I say, it didn't even take up to even 35 minutes, but let's just say 30, 35 minutes. So I'm just going to drain the water out because it's ready. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. Okay, so you see, it's clean now. So it's clean now. Remember, it was dry at first. Let's remove this one. So now it's back to itself because it's dry peeled beans. Okay, so now I'm going to be blending it. Okay, so I'm going to be putting it in my blender with some. Onion. I'm not going to be adding this one. This one is after I've blended it. Okay guys, so we've blended our my my beans. I hope you can see it properly. 
So I'm just going to pour it in this bowl. Just going to rinse the bowl out with just a bit of water. Remember, it's moi moi, so you don't want them. Um, sorry, it's akara, not moi moi. It's akara, so you don't want it to be too light. You don't want the mixture to be too light because you are not making moi moi beans cake. I don't know what they call it. So you don't want so much water on it. I'm just going to take the, the blade out. So I'm going to be adding oil. I'm going to be adding a little bit of this oil. I'm going to be adding some crayfish, grinded crayfish. I'm going to be adding a bit of salt. A bit more. Dried grinded chili pepper. The chopped onion. I'm also going to be adding my, I'm going to add this one first, the Maggi chicken first. I will add it first, stir everything together, then I'll taste it. If I need more Maggi, then I will add this one. Crumble it. Okay guys, so I'm going to stir it. So my oil is already heating up. I'll show you guys. Just one second. That's my oil there eating up in the frying pan. So I'm just stirring this together. Okay, so I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add Maggi or maybe salt. I mean, non cube or salt. I'll see now. Just 
just wash my hand first. I think I'm going to be adding more salt. So I'm going to be adding this one. So I'm going to just stir it and wait for my oil to get really heat up and then I'll start frying. Okay guys, before we start, I forgot to mention, I use my wicks, my whips, how do you call it? Because I want to whip some hair into the mixture. So yeah, so I just use my uh, egg whip salt, what do you call it? I just use to whip it together, the oil is ready. Okay, the taste is okay. I've put one, just one cube. So I take my spoon. I just take a portion. And put it like that. Take another portion. So we wait for these ones to cook. I don't really know how many minutes you're supposed to leave them for on the on one side. Let's just guess. I'm just going to use the time to guess maybe each one should cook at the one side for maybe like two to three minutes and then flip it over because you want it to cook properly so I'm going to increase my heat a bit so I'm leaving it to cook on one side for about two to three minutes I first of all lower my heat because I don't want it to get burnt so yeah so this one has been cooking for quite a more than it cooked for more than three let's say two, about three minutes on one side so i turn it now so i'm going to turn this one now because i'm checking the time just to see if i can get it right so let's say probably not up to three minutes let's just say about one two minutes or so yeah so this one is about about uh, one and a half minutes now so i'm going to turn it because I haven't cooked akara for a long time, for years. So I'm just doing it again now. So yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of them to stay like probably about one and a half minutes on the side where they are now before I flip them over. Okay guys, let's flip them over. It's been more than one minute. So 
So I'm probably guessing they probably take about two minutes or two and a half minutes because it's beans. I don't want to have my stomach running. So I like to cook it properly. Some people might probably say just one minute on both sides, one minute on the bottom, one minute on the top when you flip it. Yeah, but for me, I like it to cook properly. I don't want to have runny stomach. So I think this one here is ready. You can see it looks like it's cooked. Okay, so I brought the wrong one out. I brought this one mistakenly out. I have to put this one back down. So I think it's this one. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, I have to take this one out. So I have this little um, sieve that I use for fr when I'm frying anything like um, puff puff, buns, anything. I just use this my little um, sieve here. It doesn't have any handle. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for these ones to cook a little bit more. And then I'll take them out and continue the frying. Okay guys. Okay guys, let's take these ones out. They are ready now. So shall I say when it's like really golden brown? Can you see that? On both sides. So let's say then you know it's really cooked.
Okay guys, so I'm going to be having my akara with custard. I'm not very good at making custard, so I bought this custard mix from um, Iceland. Yeah, so I'm just going to try my best because I'm not really good at making custard. So it comes with a scoop. So I'm just going to try and follow the instruction. I've read it already. So I'm just going to follow the instruction. So I'm making this custard for me and my husband. Yeah. So I said to level it. So because I'm making it for two of us, so I'm putting, I'm using, I'm going to be using three scoops. I boiling, I just boiled the water on my kettle. So let's say, let's hope it comes out okay. So that's boiling water, I just boiled it. So I'm going to add a bit of water. I will add the water while I'm whisking it, just whisk. I'm going to add a bit of water just to make it a bit lighter. going to be adding a bit more water because I don't want it to be so thick so I'm going to be adding I've added a bit more water so I just uh, it's really nice guys okay nice I got it this time around. I got it. I got it. I got it right. I'm excited. Look at that, guys. So, yeah. So, I got it right. See? Custard. Yeah. So, now you need to do so hard sugar, hard milk, whatever you like. If you don't want milk, you don't want sugar, you can add salt if you want salt. If you don't want that, you can eat it just on its own like that with the akara. Yeah, guys, so it comes out really nice. Look at that. No lumps, nothing, no lumps. See? No lumps, really good. Okay guys, so that's my custard ready. I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Okay guys, so that's my akara. You can see my akara. And that's my custard. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, so this is a typical um, Nigerian, we African breakfast. Okay guys? Yeah, so that's my custard. And the akara. So I gave my husband his own already, and he said I got 11 out of 10. Can you imagine that? So I got one mark higher. And my daughter, Precious, she said 200 over 200 mark. <laughs> so they all actually like it, which is really good. Yeah, and it's really nice. Everybody likes it. Yeah. It's really nice. So you can give it a try. And see if you like it. So I've let it to cool down a bit. 
before I actually start to eat it. And when it's a bit more cold, it actually tastes even much better. When it's much colder. Not cold, 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 but when it's really settled down, it's not hot, hot, hot anymore. It's more nicer. Well, the custard is really nice. So the custard, I didn't put any milk, nothing, because the mixture of that custard I showed you already has sugar on it, so I didn't put anything. So it's just hot, boiled water. Boiled hot water, just as the instructions stated. That is all. Yeah, guys, sorry, I forgot to call you. Yeah, have some. <coughs> My daughter wants some, she's over here, she's opening her mouth. <laughs> she's opening her mouth. Hello. <laughs> mm. It's really nice guys, try it. Give it a try. I don't know what they call it in English, whether it's beans cake. I know we call more and more beans cake. So I don't know what Akara is called in English, but it's different from when you can see, it's much flatter. Yeah. And this one we fry it. The moment you cook it, you put it in the container or in the leaf, and you wrap it and you boil it in the pan or you bake it well in the oven. I normally tend to put my moi in the oven. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to be ending this video here. Please don't forget to, to like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Mm. Before I go, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia. Yeah, I'm a mom to four kids and a loving wife. Yes, to my husband. And a wonderful mom, I swear to my kids. <laughs> so yeah, I'm also a seamstress. I do sometimes do sewing tutorials, but not every time. Because I'm too busy now, so... I'm not able to do the tutorials as much like before. And some people don't want their clothes on YouTube, so... I'm not able to do a lot of sewing tutorials anymore. Yeah, guys, so welcome to my channel, if you are new. Welcome and thank you for watching. There's more videos on my channel. There's playlist you can watch. Just put it on. Let it play like as if you are watching a TV. Yeah, guys. So, thanks for watching and thank you all my new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. And my old subscribers, I really appreciate you all. Thanks for always coming back to watch my videos. God bless you all. Thank you very much, all the new subscribers. You are very, very welcome. I really hope you enjoy all my videos, my vlogs, sewing, crafts, shopping, everything. I really hope you guys will enjoy it. I'm really grateful. I appreciate you coming and staying with me. Don't forget to click the like button. Please, it's very important that you click the like button if you like this video. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next um, video. Bye, guys.